Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. It's Saturday, so that means it's time for what? Open cars. Open cars. I got both my boys with me this morning. So up first, I got a box from Carrie Snowden from Fort Worth, Texas. Let's see what he got. Pretty well packaged. It's like a bulldozer. What is that, Mac? It's a bulldozer. It's a what? It's a bulldozer. Yeah, bulldozer. <laughs> so I have a couple of these. Um, I've got one that's got a broken arm on here. Um, and I've got one that's totally missing the arm. And so this one came up, um, it was really cheap. Uh, I got I picked this up on eBay. Nobody bid on it, and so I threw a, a starting bid on it and won the auction. Um, so this is a little better than the ones I've got. Um, obviously, it's got some condition issues, uh, some paint. Um, maybe eventually one of these days I'll get around to doing some restorations on these. Um, the The biggest problem with them is trying to get the treads. I can get replacement treads for these, but. I've got to pull that pin in order to get them on. Um, so that might be a, an interesting That's repair, something too. fun to try. So I may attempt it at some point in the future, but for now, this is better than the ones I've got. So happy to have it. Up next, this is from N. Jansek. Um, I've purchased from him before. There's nothing. There's nothing. Oh. Here. All right. Here. That's really well taped. Whoa. Here. Whoa. Whoa. I think we already have one of these. I do have one of these, um, but the one I have is in pretty rough shape. Hey, Bob. Yeah. So. This one's got the back on it. This one has the door. The one that I have does already does not have the door. Um, and this one, I couldn't tell if this was like scratches in the paint or I think this I may. be corned out one. Yeah, I may be able to uh, clean that up. So, and I've got, I have an extra um, tractor for this. And so uh, I had two tractors and one trailer. So now I've got two trailers to go with each of my tractors. So. Next, a package from George Knapp from Drummond, Wisconsin. A couple things in here. I remember this. So, in trying to fill out some of my harder to find models, um, one of the ones that I've been on the hunt for for a while are these. Uh, Rustin uh, Usiris uh, okay. cranes. I have one too. And uh, these rarely come up on the collectors groups uh, because they are really hard to find. Whoa, there's another one. And when I found them on eBay, they all tend to be in that somewhere eighty to a hundred dollar range. And so. I found this one. Um, this was on eBay, and it was a, a double lot because all of these are busted. Um, so this, I think, would have originally gone with this piece, and that's broken. Um, and so this one has an intact shovel and base piece, but it's missing the tracks on the base. And I don't know if either one has better or worse decals, but I looked at this and I thought, you know what? I may be able to fix this part. I'm, I might be able to make that as a repair. And if I can't, I can probably swap this part for this one. And um, so I thought that would be a, a fun and challenging um, restoration to attempt. And uh, the best part is, 
I paid $10 for both of these models. Um, and so that's really where being willing to do a little work on these, uh, maybe take on some restoration, can help you get a really nice, really desirable model um, that normally would have been way outside of my price range. Um, and I'll have most of a second one, so if I ever come up with uh, another one of these bases, I can do two of them. So, good find, great price. And then last up, um, I always love these international pa packages. Part of me, uh, I think if I was older, I'd be a stamp collector because I've left seeing stamps from all over the world. So this package is from Costa Morietti in uh, Greece. Um, I've purchased from him, he's an eBay seller, and I bought from him before. Um, it usually takes a long time to uh, get my shipments from him because it has to come all the way from Greece. But uh, with the currency conversions and um, what I pay for these, um, I've always got absolutely incredible deals uh, on his auctions. So this is one that I've been after for a while now. And uh, any of you who collect Matchbox know just how hard these are to find. Uh, this is a Ford station wagon, number 31, uh, with the silver plastic wheels. And, you know, it's play-worn. Um, it's, it's pretty rough. Lots of surface wear, lots of high edge wear in here. Um, but these things are crazy hard to find. And uh, when they do come up, they are super expensive. So um, I was able to pick this one up for just a couple of bucks. And uh, pretty excited about that, even if I gotta wait a few weeks to get it shipped from Greece. So that's gonna do it for our mailbag today. Uh, thanks so much for joining me and the boys and uh, watch for another restoration video uh, coming up. We're working on some tractors today. So don't forget to uh, tune in next week for another vintage diecast restoration.